Minneapolis will pay George Floyd's estate $27 million after city council votes to settle lawsuit with family. Welcome to the Angels News Podcast. The city of Minneapolis will pay the estate of George Floyd $27 million after the city council on Friday unanimously voted to settle a lawsuit with his family. George Floyd's brother, Philonese Floyd, said that he would return the settlement millions if it meant he could see his brother again. I thank the state of Minnesota for getting this settlement taken care of, he said. But even though my brother is not here, he's here with me in my heart. Because if I could get him back, I would give all of this back. I know that he's with us, and he's standing up, right now, knowing that we have the opportunity to be able to fund low-income, African-American communities. Floyd took a moment at a news conference where he was joined by family members, his legal team, and Mayor Jacob Frey to thank the protesters who supported the family, especially during the height of the pandemic this past summer. He also called for peace. So, one thing that the world needs to know. America, we need to heal, this nation needs healing. Our family needs healing, the emotional Floyd said. George Floyd's sister Bridget Floyd said in a statement, while we will never get our beloved George back, we will continue to work tirelessly to make this world a better, and safer, place for all. She said the foundation she started in her brother's name will honor his legacy as a community-minded volunteer. The news comes as jury selection is underway for the trial of Derek Chauvin, a former Minneapolis police officer accused of killing the 46-year-old black man in May 2020 by kneeling on his neck for almost eight minutes. Floyd's final moments, recorded on video, led to widespread protests against police brutality and racism under the banner Black Lives Matter as well as incidents of unrest and looting. Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to second-degree unintentional murder and second-degree manslaughter charges. He has also pleaded not guilty to third-degree murder, which was reinstated in the case on Thursday. In July, Floyd's family had filed filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Minneapolis and the four former officers involved in his death. The lawsuit said the city fostered a culture of excessive force and impunity within the police force and failed to terminate dangerous officers. Frey told reporters the settlement reflects a commitment shared by Floyd's family toward racial justice and social progress. We need to be unrelenting, he said. We need to be unapologetic in our pursuit of a more equitable local government and more just approach to community, safety, and our city and we will be. Minneapolis City Council President Lisa Bender offered her deepest condolences to Floyd's family, friends, and the community. No amount of money can ever address the intense pain or trauma caused by this death to George Floyd's family or to the people of our city, she said. Minneapolis has been fundamentally changed by this time of racial reckoning, and this city council is united in working together with our community and the Floyd family to equitably reshape our city of Minneapolis. Thank you for watching in. Your view is being waited for in the comment section below.